here's the plan. I'm gonna go open all the doors that need the silver key. If I get anything, I'll bring them back up here and put them in the chest. And then I'm gonna go see the guy who needs the hemostatic medicine. Wait. There's a place up here that needed a silver key. Oh god, no. I'm surprised I didn't actually get bitten by him. Yay. I think there was another place downstairs that needed the key to. What's that white thing? Is that anything? No. More of this stuff. Oh wait, what am I doing? I'm gonna save that because I don't know... I think that's really powerful and that's why I like, haven't been getting a load of it. Oh, I haven't got enough room. Oh! That's nice. If I haven't got enough room I can use it. But I don't need it, so no. I think quite well for health at the moment. Huh. You die. Yay. Oh, wow. You know what? No. I'm not, well, you know what? No, I'm not putting up with you anymore. See how effective this really is. Oh, wow. Whoa, seriously, dude. I like this weapon. I'm saving it though. I only use it on them because I'm angry. I'm not going to use it on them anymore unless I'm in close ca ca ugh, corners with them. That makes sense. Because they're annoying and they can reach from a long way away. Hunks report. Mr. Alfred Ashford, head of the facility. Today at 16.32 I arrived successfully from the Umbrella Transport Base with a large scale BOW capsule. Extreme care was taken during transport and all 180, bleh, 108 checkpoints were confirmed condition green in accordance with standard procedures. It's currently being stored in a the freezer. There's one thing I don't understand. We're normally assigned to special missions. Why were we ordered to transport a frozen capsule this time? I understand that this may be classified as top secret, but without knowledge of the contents, our safety could be at risk during this transport. This is especially important if the contents are potentially harmful. We would like to ask you provide us with more information should we be assigned to similar missions in the future. I still remember the good old days that I spent here in the military training centre. Nothing has changed since then. We will gear up for the next mission today at 2300. Umbrella Special Forces Unit Hunk. Is that nothing? Okay. Is there anything even here? Oh. We have 
two of those now. I'm gonna go put some stuff back up in the box. I'm gonna go give that guy that hemostatic. Let me take a herb actually, how bad am I injured? I wonder why they called this game Code Veronica instead of Resident Evil 4. Might as well keep that with me in case I come across it. I'm sure I saw it back behind where the guillotine was anyway, which is where I'm heading now anyway, so I guess I might as well keep it with me. That's not fair. Whoa. Touch me, I'll kill you. Oh, thanks for walking straight into them. Whoa. Did you see how I dodged them? Ah, oh, you ruined me. You ruined what I was just saying. You were evil. She must be freezing. I don't know about you, but I'd be cold anywhere wearing what she's wearing. I mean, this doesn't look like Africa or India or anywhere hot to me. So I don't know what she was thinking when she put that on. It started off, it said she started, she was in Paris or something. Even Paris isn't that warm. Oh god, I forgot about you guys. Whoa, dude, 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 you touched me. Oh god, you know what? I definitely know I killed you guys. Whoa. Get off of me. Look on this guy's face when I give him the hemostatic. You know what? I'm running out of time, so we're gonna we're gonna leave this till next time. It's a good cliffhanger. I'll see you then.